So here we have our extended trunk and treats. For those of you who like the trunk and treats, you can see we've got this shareholders report. You'll see this book of extra options. The 66 Pontiac book we'll go through in detail. The 66 Le Mans, Tempest, and GTO salesman data manual. This is the actual window sticker for this exact car there's the total price and who's this right here Gary that is my father when he was in the army the armed forces during World War II and you can see that this was a dedicated car to him if you listen to the ride portion of this video which is at the end of this video you'll see the entire car click on that video you'll hear the story of that so I'm gonna start with the light and we're gonna go one at a time so we're gonna start with the 66 Pontiac book and as we open it up I'm being very careful because this is well the actual book and it's slightly windy out but you can see we start with the brome the Bonneville brome the most elegant Pontiac ever made and you can see by the outfits that it's elegant by your yacht. We deliberately designed the broom to be gloriously enticing. You can see the details there and read all of that. I'll pause to give you a moment there. There's your word broom or the broom convertible. And of course you wear this outfit when you get in this car naturally you're holding her hand when you help her out with that here's the Grand Prix apparently not so luxurious with your ox but still quite the car has just outdone itself again the hardtop coupe and you have the back of the Grand Prix the seats lay down does any car have the right to be this beautiful? <laughs> Great pitch. Great sales pitch. The Bonneville, of course, you have the smile and you're out by the lake in the convertible on a perfect evening. Just the, just the artwork is fantastic in this book. Ah, we didn't go for a ride. Nice. If you happen to be the type that naturally gravitates towards beautiful thing, things of beauty, then you want the Bonneville. The Star Chief Executive. Your four-door. Or the person on the go. The Star Chief Executive is all business. And you're getting into your plane, the Ventura, a little bit of boating in your four-door, inside are a few of the more obvious ultra-luxurious deluxe features, great seating, The Catalina. Well, you forget how many models they had, don't you? It's unbelievable. Wow. Every girl's a little different. This one, you put the flowers in the back. She looks a little more stern. Make sure you don't mess up those flowers. Right here is just a small list. The four-door, it's a great life, Catalina style. 256 horsepower V8. You can see the seats are getting a little more ca casual. And the two plus two. Two plus two from Pontiac, a wonderful wide track way to go from place to place. 
Notice also it has a new Pontiac dealer for a special GTO 2 plus 2 performance Cadillac and go to go. Speaking of GTO, there we have it. Looks almost like it's in the barrier blue. Pretty close. Yeah. The GTO hardtop. The GTO convertible. Great picture. <laughs> Both having fun. The red inserted wheel wells. GTO is a very special road machine. We call it the ultimate tiger. Oh, honey, can we take the GTO out after our tennis game? Here's how you start adding character to your 2 plus 2. The Le Mans. Or if you're in America, the Le Mans. Notice your four door. Your two door convertible. Nice buckets. We'll sit by the park bench. The Tempest. Chilling in your hammock. The Tempest Custom. You know, back in the day, when you would see a Tempest or a Le Mans, you would hope it was a GTO. You'd hope that you'd look at the front grill and see those three letters. <laughs> Absolutely. You were kind of like, ah, oh, it's a Tempest. Ah, oh, it's a Le Mans. <laughs> well, when you saw it was a GTO, you were like, oh, that is cool. Kind of similar to today how when you're looking at a Challenger, you're hoping it's a Hellcat or a Red Eye Hellcat or something like that. Station Wagon Lovers Rejoice. You want some kind of a trophy with this thing. Nice. A lot of good reason for choosing a Tempest Station Wagon for 66. Boy, you know, to find one of these to video today would be like impossible. Your Tempest and Le Mans engines. This is a really neat page. Let's get those GTO options. The four speed manual, the three speed, and the powertrains, some of the details. Your colors and what they come on. Very cool. And that's the end of brochure one. We've already taken a look at that. This is pretty cool. The Tiger scores again. There's only one GTO, never forget that. The GTO Sports Coupe. That's a great picture of the convertible. That's what we used to look for in the grill. I almost can't see if there's someone driving that the way I had it. Interesting with the red inserts. Tell me about the red inserts, Gary. That was an option that people could buy in 1966. Pretty much only a handful of cars made them out with that. It was just kind of a way to offset the car from everything else that was on the street. Got it. 
I don't ever recall seeing a GTO with red inserts. Have you they, ever seen one? I have, and they, they've been on this. They were the first ones to come out with them, and then Oldsmobile pretty much copied them on their 442s. Yeah. Again, very rare, and the Pontiacs but differentiated them from the Oldsmobiles. Pontiacs were steel. The Oldsmobiles were plastic when they did it. And the Oldsmobile 442s, the W30s in particular, had that, like, standard. Yes. Yes, it was, it was an option on the GTO. A lot of people bought them and put them on afterwards on an over-the-counter type of situation mm. as an accessory. And these wheels were never actually GTO wheels. They were just... Nope. They, they put them on the order chart, but they never got manufactured. Right. There's your Tempest Sports Coupe. Six. Tell me what this is. That is what they call the GM stockholder share report. You would get this at the end of each year, beginning of the following year, to tell you how GM did. Hmm. Let's have you flip that open for a second. Sure. So where did you find this? You no, know, I don't know. I found it, and the second I saw it, I grabbed it. They told you each division all about the cars. It was a very interesting piece. Also, Bill. Okay. Yeah, everything was in here. Interesting on this brochure. Yeah. This is the first time anyway. in, in in General Motors life that this, they did so well in '65 and 1966. This brochure announces that they actually lowered the base price of the cars. Wow. When's the last time you heard of that in modern history on an automobile? Yeah, right. Wow. And Cadillac. It talks about the different ones. That's great. Just great. Now tell me what this is. This is the salesman data manual. So you would compare the Pontiacs in their class to all the other cars in their yeah. class. So they would give you basically all the details about the particular automobile, your selling points, you could kind of say. So, and they went by each model so you knew how to compare that to every other model that was out there from the, from the competitors within GM and Ford, etc. And it gave you all the options that you could put on the car. So this is what they, pretty much their, it wasn't a pocket sheet, but it really was a pocket sheet. Mm -hmm. They have all the info regarding the cars. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen this. Let me have you keep paging through there for a second. Yep. And I'll show you something really interesting. Yeah, I'm interested in interesting. So there's more of the Tempest. Mm -hmm. Then you, of course, you walk to the Le Mans. Got it. In 1966, the GTO became its own model. So as you can see with the Le Mans, you have a 237 uh, VIN number. In 66, the car started with a 242 because the GTO became its own model, so it differentiated itself okay. from the Tempest. In 65, they all had the 237 number, and then the GTO was an option package. Okay. Again, in 66, it became its own model. Got it. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, right. Very interesting. There's that 242 number again. Yep, yep. Now the convertibles went with the so hard tops and coupes were 24217. The convertible was 24267. That's how you differentiated the cars. Yeah. One of my favorite pictures where you get on all sides of the car. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I think that's really neat. So they kind of go over, like I say, every detail. When you're looking at this, when I saw this, I had to jump on yeah. it because you just don't find these. Very cool. And it gives you all the special features, everything about the cars. One of the interesting things too <clears throat> is how they came out with the you know the six point five liter. Yep. You know, when we we're always talking cubic inches. Exactly. Yep. They they, they tried to appeal a little bit to the European sports mm -hmm. car people as well. Yeah. Don't know why they did, but that was just yeah. another one of the marketing genius things that Jim Wingers did. I mean he was just a marketing genius for Pontiac. Yeah. All right, let's flip that next page. And then here's our trim levels. 
And then we, that's the overhead six? Yeah, the first overhead cam six cylinder ever made. Right there. Yep, by General Motors. This engine was a legend, and this would keep up with the 326 motors. Wow. It was such a great motor. All right, let's take a look at the next one. The 326. And then the 389 trophy, yep. Got it, the GTO, the Catalina. So yep, the yep. One. And then our details here. Okay. I actually love this brochure because it gives you a summary about everything. Mm -hmm. Your transmissions. I'm just going to do that. Okay. We'll flip that over. Engine. And there we go. With the powertrain. Alright, it's kind of a cool set. Very cool. Let's move that over. Go ahead. Yes, sir. We'll flip flip through the pages here. As I say, this is my 60th birthday present. As we said, you will discuss in the driving video, yeah. but this was very important that this car became a tribute to my father. Uh, him and me both loved the GTOs. So. <laughs> so that was kind of important. That's a picture of him when he was in World War II. Nice. Yeah. Again, a copy, a picture of the original window sticker, which is basically up there as well. Mm -hmm. But I put that in the book. Um, most important things going forward is the pie. I could flip this over for you, make it a little yeah. easier. This is the original build sheet. You send away for these items through Pontiac Historical Services, and it breaks down everything about the car. So you could tell that this was a legit GTO. You could see the right. 24217 number right there with the VIN. Yep. Okay. And all these other codes break down your options. Okay, and then the nice thing is you've taken a highlighter so we get to see. Yeah, all the options that were on the car. This is the way the car was born right off the assembly line. Nice. All right, we'll flip that. And that's just a continuation of the equipment. This car doesn't have a lot of equipment. It was a tri-power, which is the highest horsepower car you could get with a four-speed. The person that bought this car bought it evidently for one thing back in the day, yeah, and that racing. was to go fast. Yeah, yep. we love that. Yeah, oh yeah, back in the day, that's what it was all about. Yeah. Especially if you had a GTO. Yeah, and here it tells you what this car came with. The motor, the 360 horse, the WS engine code, the color of the car, the, the interior, yeah, the, the exterior of the car. Yeah the four-speed transmission <laughs> it gives you everything yeah. all broken down just the way it should be yeah i mean you did this is the greatest piece of documentation that yeah and pontiac only charges 95 dollars to get this documentation nope and this gives you just all the dimensions the length the width the height everything you need to know about the car wow which is kind of neat yeah this is rm ditzler or rm mason they were the guys that made the paint for for General Motors, and this is the color chart that they yeah. used There's for Pontiac. Your blue, the P. Yep. This right. is kind of faded, but kind of neat, all in the same way. Yeah. That's just an assembly line picture that I found on the internet that I put on there because it's code P barrier blue car. I'm like, I nice. gotta have this. <laughs> and this is an actual picture from the Chicago Auto Show in 1966. Wow. Kind of neat. Look at how beautiful they did displays That's back great. then. Yeah. yeah. To me, it was just unbelievable. Yeah. That's when going to the auto show is really something special. Right. Unbelievable. This is a good piece right here. So Jim Wangers, being the marketing genius that he was, got together with Tom McCann Shoes. Tom McCann Shoes was the biggest selling shoe in the world at the time, and they came up with a campaign. And if you bought Tom McCann Shoes, you registered, and you could win a, a, a Pontiac GTO. And the slot car track soul. <laughs> is that amazing or what? <laughs> I'm still looking for a pair of Tom McCann yeah, shoes. Yeah, slot car track. <laughs> I'll buy shoes look like plastic, but they that's do. okay. I would buy them no matter what yeah, if I could find sure. them just to have it for with the car. I thought that was pretty cool. And this we got some pictures of your car. Before the restoration started, it was a full-blown frame off rotisserie roast restoration. Not every nut, bolt, everything was gone over. Um, this car sat in California for a number of years, but it was all there. That's why all the sheet metal's original, which was 
pretty neat about this car. Yeah. And that was the sell point to start with the rotisserie restoration. When Custom Classics told me about that this was coming in, I'm like, if the guy ever wanted to sell it, I want to buy it, and that's what I did. Right. <laughs> and here's a picture of the motor. It's evidently it looks terrible, but it all was there and it all ran perfect. The important, all the important numbers. This is the the the, the, the um, manufacturer's uh, description stamp. from the manufacturer stamp. At sixty five and sixty six, they used the same stamping number. In sixty seven, mm -hmm. it changed. The more important, the all important WS code to show that it's the four speed car with the three sixty horse, nice. which is the tri power motor. So that's to me one of the most yep. important parts. And then, of course, you got the correct heads, the pictures of it on both sides, which 66 are supposed to have all 93 heads, and you can see they're clearly there. Which is perfect. Let's grab that Tempest owner's manual. Oh, is there one more? Yeah, there's... Okay, the, got it. That we're going to see. Most important part when you buy a car, if this is not on there, walk away from the car, because yeah. that tells you somebody did something wrong. The, right. the trim tag is the most important thing in the world when you buy a vehicle. Let's grab that owner's manual guy, if you could. Thank you. Want me to close this up first? And yeah, we'll close that. Perfect. Put that right there in the sun. We won't go through every page of it, but just to show you some of the details. The fewer, fewer hundred miles, how to break them in, your speeds, I always thought that was fun. Mm -hmm. No more, you know, first, no more than 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Back in the day, you could always go up to 70 on the, uh, uh, on the tollways. Kind of interesting. Right. You punch outs for the keys. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Here is kind of neat. They show a picture of the chrome doorknobs. Mm -hmm. Those were in the bigger cars. When you got the A body cars, they actually the doorknobs came color keyed to what the top of your door was in the car to sure. match your interior. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah. We'll go through a couple of the pictures. There you go. For your automatic. Yep. Your instrument cluster. Yep. For your Based big cars. You yeah. have. We'll do a couple more pages here. The vents to blow cool air in on the cars. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's kind of cool to, ha yeah. to have all this stuff to, go, sure. to go through. Well, for those of you who love the trunk and treats, we'll go do a few more pages. For those of you who love the trunk and treats, that was the extended cut. And as you'll see at the end of this video, you can see the car itself. So thanks for coming to the channel, guys, and I hope you enjoy this extended trunk and treats. Thanks, guys.